Welcome to Sumster Games, the place to find new strategy games and today we're gonna play Urban Cards which is a game that I'm really really excited to show off because it's a roguelike deck builder kind of like Slay the Spire of Deck Fascist but it's business focused which I think is just genius you know instead of having like a combat where you like kill each other it's like no you just want to make money can you make a successful business who knows Let's begin. I'm, I just think it's such a genius idea and it's just so good. The game comes out by the way in... Let me tell you... Right now. In early 2020. Alright, that was totally unhelpful information. Sorry about that. This is a beta. Big thank you to the developers for giving me a key. And now we can either start in real estate or sort of technical area. So we're gonna go with real estate, so I'm gonna read it. Oprah. Oprah is the most expensive real estate in Hughes City, where the tall shiny towers can blind your eyes and the expensive scent can make you sneeze. Here you walk into echoing halls through stone pillars and amass a fortune with the tried and true methods of speculation and insider trading. This is the realm of the millionaire CEO, the walking suit and the smile of a lending shark. Here, you might catch a glimpse of celebrities trying the newest hate cuisine. I'll read it to the technology too, because it's a really good read. Akibara. The technology valley of Hughes City. People walking around with cybernetic enhancement, the faint glow coming from the windows of gamers, spending endless hours playing competitive games online. This is the birthplace of a new tech and the apps that rule us, of electronic beats and coding poetry. This is the playground for tinkers, digital artists, models of the third dimension. This is where Bitcoin fortunes are made with other people's data. This is where Big Brother comes to watch. The descriptions are just genius. Let's do the real estate thing first, but like, oh my god, this game. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Alright, so this is kind of like a path. Sometimes you get options, sometimes you don't. First we got an event, so let's do this thing. Elections are coming up, so the governor of Hughes City has lowered the taxes for companies of your income bracket. You are getting money back. Hey, you voted for the more progressive candidate, but on the other hand, you do need a new pair of fabulous boots, so we'll take it. You get $2,000, and also next game will start with plus 300. Thank you! Let's go! You can do a Suits Level 1 event or Game Master Level 1. Let's do Suits Level 1. Essentially, we can pick an opponent, so that's where we're fighting. And up here, we're gonna have a goal in a moment. Okay, so we first gotta pick a hand. You can either reroll or you, or you can start over. So we're gonna take this hand, and I'm, not, I'm gonna talk to you about how the combat works in a second. Alright, so our goal is to get to 3,000. Whoever gets 3,000 first wins. And death is like a separate thing. Essentially, if you, uh, the death carries between games, and if you reach maximum death, then you lost. So we, uh, there is no mana, or essentially mana, what would be normal games, is here money. So I've got 600 money. It's also sort of the end goal, so you don't actually do damage to the enemy or anything like that, which is really interesting that, so, so like the mana mechanic is the same as the target mechanic, which is really fun. And uh, at the start of each turn you get 100 uh, gold. You have a limited amount of cards. Cards are not unlimited, which means that if you run out of them, you just play the turns, but you can't do anything. So something to watch out for. You have three different uh, sort of resources in the game which come from the cards we have buildings like this main office and the startup we've got uh, clueless interns who are workers and then we've got uh, henchmen the buildings are actually called biz and here we have sort of like lanes so so these things in the middle this row is buildings and each one of these sets is, is a lane and down here you can place your henchmen over on this row you can place your workers and here place I'm gonna start this off by placing a building over here and this building is going to bring me 200 per turn. It has a five sort of like defense point. You can destroy buildings. It cost me $400 to build it. And it gave me 400 in debt. Now I still have some money left. So I'm going to have this coolest intern work. And she makes me 100 if I control a business or a building, which I do. So I can place over here. So she's a worker. We do not have a henchman yet. That's all right. So we're going to end our turn. Can't do anything else. And then he's going to go. Next up, we can build another main office. So at the end of our turn, we got the 100 basic, and then we've got 200 from this uh, office and 100 from the worker, so 400 total. We could build another building, a startup, which is going to earn us 100 if we have an office, or we could build a telephone seller, 
who can steal money from. So what I'm going to build next is I'm actually going to build a main office because it's uh, you cannot place a... So if we, we share these three points for buildings, right? So if I build it up, he can't build buildings anymore. He has to destroy my building in order to get there. There's no more space, right? So that's why it's a really good idea to place the buildings when he can. I'm going to end my turn. Wait for what he's going to do. He's probably going to build place something over there. Yeah, he's smart. So he's placing his own building over there. Next up, we could, so this, I could, I cannot place a startup anywhere, unfortunately, because there's no place. What I'm going to do is going to place a telephone seller. I'm going to place it under my building. And what he can do is he can steal money. He can steal 100 from him if he has some money. He has zero money, only debt, so we can't do that. But if he had, we could do it. Now, henchmen can also attack buildings and other henchmen in the same lane, like same area. So if I have placed this here, I could use it to hit his building. But I'm not going to do it because then he can just place the security officer and finish it off. So I don't want to do that. I cannot place the startup. I could get a cash bonus, but I would only get next turn 100 and that's it. So it's not really effective for me to buy that right now. So he plays a security officer here and he's gonna try to use him to kill off my guy. Which is not great for me. So let's see what else we can get. So I have a security officer as well, so I'm gonna place mine over here and use him to finish off his security offers. I'm I can't really steal from him, so I'm gonna I'm well if we attack him, we're going to die. Like this henchman is going to die. Well actually I guess he's going to leave or something. But um it would lower the the sort of strength of the security officer. Let's do it because I want to show it off. So this guy is down. This guy only has a strength of one. Uh, I cannot build anything else. So I'm just going to end my turn. So their security officer is hitting my building. That's understandable. I'm not going to worry about it too much because I can use mine to make his security officer leave. I've got a workaholic broker. It makes plus 50 if you control other workers with compete. Well, I don't actually have other workers with Compete, but I do have other workers. So I'm going to place this guy over here. So he's only going to make me 100. This would this would cost me 200 and give me 200. So again, it's not an effective thing to build. But that's it. I'm going to end my turn. So the henchmen sort of have like their own action per turn as opposed to normal. So, so they place their own uh, thief over here or telephone seller who can... I guess they call me and make me buy something that I didn't really need. But it's alright. We're going to get rid of them. Magic Tile allows you to convert a henchman into a worker, but currently we've got no henchman to do that with, so we're just going to end our turn. So what he did was building improvement, and which means he just increased sort of like essentially the HP of a building. Uh, we got nothing to play. I can only, uh, I could actually use this, yeah, I could use this on his guy as well, which is actually quite nice. So, so I've sort of got rid of his security and give myself another person that's going to work for me. Right. Now I have reached 3000, which means I have won. I have 800 debt that's going to carry with me over till the next game. Because I won, I can now pick a card. Uh, we could get another telephone seller, a workaholic broker, or magic. Now I'm going to take a workaholic broker because if you have two of those, then of course it's going to increase the money that you make with the workers. And the really nice thing about workers is there doesn't seem that many things that can destroy them, as opposed to henchmen, for example, or buildings. So it's a pretty good idea to keep them. Now we could fight some gamers or do an event. Let's do an event first. A wolf in posh clothing. Having acquired the right contacts in the veneer of respectability with your business forum, you can now graduate from petty thievery to proper white collar crime. <laughs> Let's start with some embezzlement and then move on to some mortgage broker fraud. <laughs> Robbers you control steal extra 50. That's actually really good for us. <laughs> Alright. Now. We could go restaurants level 2, suits level 1, or shop. Let's go to suits level 1. Have a bit of an easier fight. That's what we want to start with. We've got a main office from the beginning, but we're not going to have enough money because we only get extra 100, so we'll start off at 300, which is not enough to build a main office. So let's uh, try... But we could place the work colleague broker, though. Now let's get a different hand. We'll see what we can get. A suit. Yeah, we're going to take this one. Let's start with the workaholic broker, I think. And we'll see what he does. Probably gonna build some buildings, but yeah, that's all right. I'm gonna end my turn. 
Yeah, he's building his first startup. And I can't build a main office just yet, so I'm gonna have to wait one more turn. But next time I should get 100 and 100 from the worker, so I will be able to build a main office over here. So let's do that. And my turn. Then I'm gonna place a security officer somewhere near his startups. So let's place a security officer there to destroy it. And then we're going to go with the workaholic broker. So now they both make me 150. So I actually get 300 from here, an extra 200 from the office. So that's 500 total per turn. And let's start hitting his startup. And we're gonna get a new suit. And I'm gonna place a telephone seller near this startup so we can destroy it quickly and we can start stealing his money. Because he now has a lot of money left over, so we can start doing. Oh, he's using a security officer. All right. He's placing a lot of stuff. All right. Either way, I'm gonna destroy his startup first, and then I'm gonna use this to steal his money. So I stole a hundred of his money, actually 150, and gave it to myself. Then I'm going to build a startup over here. And because he's going to kill this guy off anyway, I'm actually going to use the magic tie to turn him into a suit because he would just kill him at a single hit, so there's no point to worry about it. So that's it. Yeah, that's it. And we should use the magic tie to, to convert this guy, maybe. We should have done that, that would have been smarter. Alright, we'll do it now. He's really improving this one. But apparently I'm gonna worry about trying to destroy this startup because it's really strong now. To use the magic tag to destroy that. Alright. And we could use a main office so we can actually upgrade the main office that we have. Because it's upgraded we get extra 50 and it increases the sort of strength of the building. He has no more cards so he's just gonna get his 200 and use his henchmen but that's it. He can't do anything more than that. Do you get a cash bonus? That's gonna give us a lot of money. That's that's effective. Do that. And we're making a lot of money per turn. That's nice. We make 300, 600, 1050 per turn is what we make. He is stealing some of our money, but that's not too much of a problem for us right now. Well, how much is he making though? He's making 500. All right, we'll be late. We'll be there first. All right. For a second I got worried, like is he gonna make it to 3,000 worth first? No, he's not, he's not. He's gonna make it close, but not quite there. We gotta get rid of the debt pretty soon though. Alright. We could pick another clueless intern, startup, or telephone seller. Let's grab... I think I'll go with the clueless intern. And the reason for that is you can't always place your building, but you can always place your workers. We also unlock new cards, uh, add two, plus two defense to biz, or salesperson, or taxi. Move one of your henchmen from one student. Ooh, taxi seems really useful. We unlocked it all. Tax, taxi seems really nice. Let's go to a shop. Psst, you, come here. May just have what you're looking for. Ooh. So we've got 6,300 gold, 1,800 in death. Hacked laptop, enemy has 80% chance of making minus 500 when they earn 1,000 or more per turn. Player starts with 5 cards instead of 4, that seems really good. Player has 50% chance of starting a game with plus 100. Ooh, I like that. Because the plus 100 would get us to 400 on turn 1, which would be really useful because you could immediately place an office. We're gonna grab the lucky coin. Building improvement, clueless intern, main office, or a magic tag? Uh, another clueless intern? No. Mm -mm. Let's take the checkbook instead. We'll leave the shop. Oh, what do we've got next? Debt and trade, suit level to an event. Let's start an event. Coaching expenses. You were secretly making fun of your employees' expensive coaching calls and their talk about personality types, but hey, it seems they're actually getting more productive. Now the invoices are out. Increase your debt by 500. Next mandatory lunch hour yoga. Worker class intern makes plus 100. Nice. A debt and trade. We're gonna go to debt and trade because I'd like to get rid of my debt. <laughs> 
Oh man, this is just... Oh my god. Listen kid, playing indie games does make you rich. Invest your time in something else. Oh, come on. What if you are a YouTuber? <laughs> what would you like to do? I want to pay my debt. I mean, I can pay 2,000 of my debt, not the whole thing, but I'm going to do it anyways. You would also trade cards. Do we want to trade cards? Let's oh, check. What is that? Let's see what you got for me. Um, you could get a security officer. No, I'm not gonna do it. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> that was just that was so good. All right, let's do gamers level two. So the goal now is to get to five thousand. Uh, we. I'm gonna start with that. We can place a startup. So, what I'm gonna start with is a startup because I wanna grab some spots somewhere. And that's. Oh, right. And, and we don't have a worker yet, but it's alright. We, we, we did take up the space. So we're not going to do anything else. It's not going to make us money, but we grabbed his space, which is what I wanted. He's placing an arcade, which is going to make him some money. I did upgrade a bit with plus two defense. Ooh, that's not great for us. We don't, and we don't have enough for an office yet. So we're going to try to end the turn and do nothing. Actually, we could place... Yeah, we're going to try to do nothing and see if we could place a main office here. If not, if he place something there, that's fine. But I think it was worth, worth a shot. And right, then we're gonna start placing our workers so that this startup starts to make money. But I really wanted to get this these buildings in there. So we'll start this up with clueless intern, security officer next to his arcade, and that is it. All right. Next up, we'll place a workaholic broker and another clueless intern, and we'll hit his arcade. And we can place a suit. Now four workers, so this will give us 400, but I don't think it's worth it just yet. But what he's doing, he's play, playing a casual gamer. What can you do? Nothing, you can just hit me. And Goss, cosplay girl, henchmen on their street have plus one attack. Ooh, that is not good for me. We gotta get rid- Oh, actually, I could make her mine. Yep. Girl, you work for me now. <laughs> it's kind of creepy when you say it like that. <laughs> what, do, what do you do, by the way? Identity makes a copy of any worker you control. How dare you? I will grab a telephone seller in here. If he chooses to kill mine to sacrifice his, that's fine. But he might not. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, he, okay, he, he did a sacrifice, that's fine. He has 10 cards left, he has a lot of cards. Fangirl fanboy. Ooh, all right, so he makes kind of this person not work because they're unhappy. Not great. Now, let's use this, the security guy to finish off this thing. Now, we could either try to upgrade this office, but I'm going to try to place this here and make sure that actually he cannot place anything where he wants to place stuff. And then we're just going to end. Uh, actually, we're going to, yeah, we're going to end our turn. I'm going to use our security officer to hit his identity thief. Um, let's see if that works. Ooh, he, he gave me a death. That's okay. We're going to actually get rid of this thing of theirs. Uh, get ourselves a bonus because we do have a lot of workers I only have one card left he has nine which really worries me he's probably gonna destroy that sometime soon workaholic broker sure now we do make a lot of money question is what he's gonna do with his eight cards can he destroy me with his eight cards i do not know like We'll see. It is only gonna have one turn left. And this is two turns left at most. Now get rid of her. I'm gonna use this to, to hit her and yeah, it's gonna kill us. We can't do much more. However, 
we might be able to win this if he doesn't get any well actually he's gonna destroy this probably yeah don't make money from here though Earn plus 50 per game where you control. This is gonna make him a lot of money. Ah, uh, this makes him so much money. This is really rough for us and I can't do anything else. But I don't think it's gonna make him win this turn. Which means we're gonna win because we're gonna get to 5,000 first. But this was really, really rough. Because it, this is the this is a big problem. Like if you run out of cards, you don't know what the other person has. It doesn't mean that you're gonna lose. As you see, we're gonna win anyways, even though we we ran out of cards first. But it's a really rough situation to be in, and our debt is increased immensely. All right, we could get. Let's get another startup so that we could combine that. Ooh, and I'm going to grab another magic tie. I do like sort of converting their people into mine. That's a really cool thing. We get some bounce of the Soho. <laughs> Coffee chain. And 50 every time a henchman enters its street. Ah. Oh, it earns 50 on top of the regular 200. That's actually really good. A tip. If you control a restaurant, make plus 100 per henchman you control. Nice. Let's do... Do we have money? No, we don't. Because we're gonna need it for the for the death. Let's go to see some party people. Gotta get a new hand. This wasn't the best setup. Oh, this isn't really much better. But we've got no choice. Actually, we could place two clueless entrants. Gonna give us give us quite a bit of money. Or actually, let's do a clueless intern and a workaholic broker. This intern is going to give us money next turn. Now we can place a startup in the middle. Just going to make both of these give me money. He again has much more cards than I do. He gets, he gets money from this if they control a party. Now, do we want to place another startup next to it or on top of it? I think we're going to try to just, again, fill up the space. Might not be the best decision in the world, but we'll try it out. Makes plus 100 if you control a party, yeah. Uh, we could do a suit here. How do you make 200? Oh, this is the extra, this is the special in, uh, worker that we kind of improved. So that's why he's making 200 as opposed to this one was just making 100. Play 3 fanboy, 1 attack tokens. Ooh. Let's place a main office in there. We're gonna need to, and we're gonna, we can actually convert, well actually we probably want to convert something stronger than just this. I assume they're gonna have something rougher than this. Yeah, it's plus 3 attack to so now we want to convert this thing. Oh, but it's gonna be able to destroy my startup, isn't it? Because it's just its turn. Yep. Bye bye, startup. Alright, let's let's convert it to something of mine. And we'll place a telephone seller in here. In my turn. Build.com. Wow. We need to get another main office so we can upgrade this. No! In that case, we're just gonna have to keep converting their people. Actually, there's not much of one converting them because they'll destroy the office anyways. So let's just get a cash bonus from our workers. And we're gonna steal some money from him. Because even if I just got rid of one of theirs, it would just still be too much for them. We'll try to get a workaholic broker and uh, we're gonna steal, we're gonna kill one of these, I think. We make a lot of money from our workers, which is good. So if we can just do it fast enough. Another main office. Now I'm actually thinking about not placing the main office. Because we should be able to win 
We make, uh, we make one, two, three, six, nine hundred per turn. I'm gonna try to do nothing so that hopefully I can get enough money next turn no matter what he does. Unless he steals a lot of money from me. Because we just need to get to 5,000 we're done. Yeah, that was a very good decision. Had we placed anything that might have cost us... Well, I don't know if it would have cost us the game, but it would have made it a lot more difficult because he started getting like 450 from that. That was really rough. And I think this is a good time to end the episode. You can click on the right top towards the next one because we're definitely going to continue this game. Or you can click on the right... Uh, on the bottom to watch either Slay the Spire of Deck of Ashes, which are other... Roguelike deck builders. I'll see you there. Bye bye.